am Mertz Jaffer. And I'm Rachel Riley, oh, winner of Big Brother 13. You didn't even wait for me to say, and this is... Oh, sorry, okay. and this is Rachel Riley, winner of Big Brother 13. Now, we have an exclusive, we have an exclusive here, Rachel. <laughs> this is Rachel's first time looking at the cast, and you will hear it first on Inside Pulse. Yes, absolutely, my first time seeing who's on Big Brother 13, Big Brother 15, and it's on Inside Pulse. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh right. my god. I'm yeah. so excited. I feel like you're invading my territory now. Usually oh god, I'm, the, really? I'm like the <laughs> refugee in LA. Now I feel like you're the uh, pseudo Canadian. I know, right? I feel like I'm kind of a Canadian. My sister's husband's Canadian and I'm in Toronto. Right. So this is so exciting. All right, let's let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. All right, so the cast just came out moments ago, merch minutes ago. The cast was just announced. So this right. is like an exclusive first look. Right. I'm the king of exclusives. Right? Okay. I love it. So. Now you might know you might know Alyssa, right? I know Alyssa. Right? That's my sister. Oh my god, I'm so excited for. Her. I literally cried when she got her key, and I'm not even kidding you. Like, I could not have been more excited. Like, it was like I was getting my key again. No, she's a mom, right? She's a mom. So, yeah, she's a little eight year old, and then she's a stepmom to three. Oh, so, <laughs> so, so like, four babies. So is she like you or not like you? She's us. Uh, we're similar in a lot of ways, and we're totally different in a lot of ways. So I'm really curious to see how she's gonna play the game this year because. I told her she has to be competitive. I told her that she has got to go in there, make an alliance. I said, be friends with the showmance, be like best friends with one of the girls. I gave her all these tips, but then guess what? Big Brother changed everything. We saw her. what happened to Willie Hans, right? Who also had a Oh, don't worry. That won't happen. Okay, that won't happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get, that okay. won't happen. But I'm saying they changed everything. Three nominations, like this MVP thing. It's crazy. This season, Big Brother is going to be insane. Let's go. All right. Yeah. So next up, I think is I think her name is Karen. I believe this just came out, so you and I have to like check my notes. Erin. 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 Oh, she's so cute. Oh, yay! She's my right favorite here. right here. Oh, I you mean, like the blondes? Well, yeah. My sister. Well, I can't. Yeah, but I can't root for your sister. Your sister's like married with kids. I gotta go for like the single. Oh, uh, is she single? Know? Um, I'm assuming. Oh. Okay, okay. How about this? This is. Uh, Andy, tell Andy me about Andy. Andy looks today. like a Big Brother fan. Is he a Big Brother big fan? I, I mean, I haven't even, I don't even know what he does. I think this guy's a I like professor. his right hair. Yes. A professor? Yes. Are you lying? No, I think so. Weird. He's like an older uh, Ian Terry. That's awesome. Right, let's see. Oh, this is, this is like my There's first... like 16 house guests, right? I know. We're, we're going to go like real quick. Okay. Oh, look, it's Hayden and Frank and me right? together. Okay. What's, his <laughs> What's his name? Is it David? David. David. Oh, I yeah, like it. Yeah, but his name is a little bit boring, though. He's cute. Okay. I don't know. He's cute. 25. He's cute. Showman's with Aaron, maybe, maybe. Yes, okay, what about this? This is like the Ashley Ioko, maybe? Oh, she's really cute. Right, what's oh. her name? Uh, Gina Marie. Gina Marie, 32. Gina Marie. Well, I feel like since she's a little bit older, she's going to be in it to 100% win the money, so she's going to be really competitive. Well, maybe not competitive, but she's going to be cutthroat. I just know from her age. What about this guy? What's this guy's deal? It's Adam. Yeah. Adam 2.0. I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. And we'll do like one more. All right, oh one gosh. more. Who else looks like kind of interesting? There was a guy here that looked... Okay. Oh, I loved oh, him. Yeah, I okay. loved him. Okay. I think his he name kinda, is McCray. He reminds me of like a cute, like nerdy Big Brother player. I feel like he's a fan. How old is he? Uh, He is... McCray, 24. 24. 24. He's cute. I like him. So did you know that like there's 13 out of the 16 are under 30? I think that that's crazy. 13 out of 16 are under 30 and hopefully single so that there will be plenty of showmances. Um, that's insane though. They're going to have a really young cast, which means that they're going to be more competitive because they're going to be hungrier for the money. You know, you always think that like the older players, they're going to kind of know how to play the game, mm -hmm. but you worry they're not going to be as competitive. But I don't know. This cast looks pretty good. I'm really excited. I think the biggest thing that's going to throw them for a loop is the three nominees. Because it's going to be, are you going to win HOH? Because you want to nominate three people? Absolutely not. Like, that's the last thing right. I want to do. But I thought the whole point was to get rid of, like, the whole, like, floaters, right? But right. actually, wouldn't it be better to float and not have three enemies by nominating Technically, them? but what it's going to be the best thing to do is win the veto. Because the there's going to be six players every single week that hold some sort of card. An MVP, which is this crazy new twist. Mm -hmm. We have no idea what they do yet. There's going to be HOH and a veto winner. And then three nominees. So six people every week are going to have some sort of Big Brother card. So what you're going to have to think about is not only are you going to, as a nominee, turn on the other two nominees and try to get one of those two evicted, or are you going to pair up with another nominee and just both of you are going to go oh after God, one God. nominee. And You're then, frying my brain already. The show hasn't right? even started yet. I'm, my oh brain my is goodness. fried. But then as a HOH, you have to think, like, are you going to nominate two people that you want to target, one floater, like one pawn? Or are you going to nominate two pawns, one person to target, 
And then what if you nominate three people and they're all like targets and then one of them wins veto and you have to nominate oh. someone else? What are you going to do? Like, this is going to be a crazy epic season. I can't wait to watch it unfold. I, I, talk I, about some drama. Well, I, I want to talk a little bit about Alyssa. Like, what is the what is the pressure on her like? You know, like, I, if my brother was a winner, oh okay, God. I I wouldn't know what to do. The pressure would kill me. Is that going to be a factor here? It's not only that her sister's a winner, but I'm super competitive. So I think people are going to really expect a lot from her. And I think she's going to have a lot to live up to. So she's either going to do two things. I told her to go in the house and work it and bring it, and she better win every competition. However... I don't think she's going to do that. I think she's going to go in the house and try to kind of lay low and try to get people to know her as Alyssa, the Big Brother player, and not her as Rachel's sister. You know what I mean? So I think she's going to go in and try to be kind of more under the radar, kind of, um, if she floats, I'll kill her. But I think she's going to kind of try to go in and play more of a veto card holder instead of she'll be more of a veto person than an HOH person because I think she doesn't want that pressure, especially to begin with. She doesn't want the target on her back. She thinks that she's already gonna have it, which I think she will too. Um, I think she'll have the target because she's my sister. So I think what she needs to do is really make friends and it's gonna be really important for her to make these alliances at the very beginning of the game and be able to hold them out through the entire game. She's not going to have Brendan. She's not going to have a showman. That's exactly what yeah. I was going to say I next. Mean, yeah. It's going to be crazy. So she's not going to have all of that to fall back on. So I told her the best thing she can do is be friends with the showman. Because the friends with the showman always last longer than the showman. And the showman keeps them safe. And then the rest of the house, even if they're a target, they're going to get out the showman and break up the showman before they break up the showman's friend. Do you think that it's, like, fair to, like, have this, um, your sister on there? Because, you know, if I'm going in and I find out that, like, Dan Geesling's nephew is in there, <laughs> well, like, what? I mean, that's such an undue advantage. That's like yeah. having, you know, Roberto Alomar as your dad in a baseball game. You right? Know? I mean, I think it's crazy, and I think people are going to assume it's an unfair advantage. But Big Brother this year is not the same Big Brother I played. And it's different every year anyways because the house guests are different. There's always some twist. But this year, there's three nominees. There's an MVP. I mean, this game is going to be so epic, so different. 100 days of summer, not just 76. This Big Brother is so different. There's no way that she could have prepared, even from being my sister. She couldn't prepare for it. And on top of it, she did go through every single casting, so no one got an unfair advantage. She had to go to casting. She had to do all the videos, the finals, everything. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, give me a little update on you, okay? So, married life. Yay. You know, uh, Love it. Uh, all right, now, we already have, like, Rachel's sister in the house. <laughs> Are we going to have, like, a baby Rachel coming up soon? Oh, I hope so. Um, I, I talk to Brendan a lot. I'm like, Brendan, listen. We should have a baby. And he's like, Rachel, listen, I'm getting a PhD. Literally, that's what his exact words are. So hopefully we'll have baby, um, big brother baby soon. But I think we have to wait until Brennan gets a PhD. You know, is there any pressure on you to have the kid quickly before big brother, like, sort of ends this <laughs> run? You know, you got to get that kid out there, you know? I mean, there's always big brother UK. <laughs> uh, and, and what else are you working on now? Like, in L.A. now, so how's the yeah, L.A., like, really the Vegas fun. L.A. switch? It's really been great. You know, I've been in a musical. I've been doing a lot of acting. I've been taking classes for acting and comedy and voice lessons. And I'm just really immersing myself in the entertainment. Immersing? Immersing, right. yeah. Immersing myself in the entertainment industry. And I'm trying to I'm trying to be really good at it because it's something I'm really passionate about. But I'm the type of person that wants to be good at it. So I'm taking the classes. I'm going to do what it takes to make sure that I'm successful. And, and my final question is, why should people tune in to Big Brother 15? Oh my God, are you kidding me? This is going to be a crazy Big Brother season. Not only, look at those house guests. They're hot. Like, those girls are beautiful. And imagine them in bikinis. Come on, guys. Why wouldn't you want to watch? But, I mean, it's going to be a really cool season. There's not going to be floaters. Julie Chen said, floaters grab your life vest. I died. Thank you, Julie. Um, but it's going to be a season where people have to play the game. And it's going to be really fun to see how it plays out. And let's be real. They're going to be a meltdown every single week. And I cannot wait to watch it unfold. It's going to be insane. Amazing. Amazing.